All right, hello everyone. I right now, um, me, ancient OS reviewer. I am going to review the operating system, Backbox Linux. Now, Backbox Linux kind of looks like a Ubuntu Linux, which I will probably be reviewing, and probably Cent OS and other Linux distributions. So let me just log into my Backbox Linux. This is the default background right here. It looks pretty cool. It has this little cool, you know, line up here. It looks like a pretty cool feature. Pretty cool feature. And then it has a um, Backbox Linux logo up there. It has um, Bluetooth right there. And it says Backbox right here on the background. Okay, so. What I like most about this is that if you go to actually, um, let's see if they have it on here. Hmm. Well, if you go to graphics, it actually comes with GIMP image editor. So I will put the link to in the description for this ISO file for you to download it yourself and try it out yourself. But anyways, let's get to the review. So what it is is basically just a others well just another distribution of basically Ubuntu Linux. It looks pretty cool. Like the internet comes with Firefox web browser and it gives you little um you know it gives you little options right there. So here let me just go into Firefox real quick. On the file system right there, trash, trash is empty, and home. So here's mostly the Firefox. Looks pretty cool. And as you see, it says Ubuntu because this is basically like a, a different distribution of Ubuntu Linux. So it looks basically just like it. So here, let me just go into, let's say I go to Google.com. It's um pretty fast. Well, I'm not sure if that's because of my computer or it's because of the ESO file and how this runs. So now, it runs pretty cool. But the thing is, if you want to open Java files or JAR, you would have to go to the Ubuntu shop, which I believe is in... Hmm, I believe is in office. I believe the Ubuntu shop. No. Well, if you would like, um, want to open like any like jar, like oh Minecraft or something, you would have to get a basically on um, jar like editor or something like that. But anyways, back to review. So this is the Bluetooth sign up here. Turn Bluetooth on, and then it. Um, gets any like um Bluetooth signals right here. It is um connection. Since I am actually simulating this on VirtualBox, it says all this stuff. But if you get if you like dual boot it on your computer, like make partitions and dual boot it, then it will probably show up right there. It will probably show up like wireless connection, not Ethernet. And this is my sound. I can turn up the mute. I mean, turn up the um, music. I mean, sound settings is right there, and I like that little icon right there. That looks pretty cool. So, and in your home folder right here, it just shows you all of your files, basically, documents, downloads, pictures. It's kind of like Max, and it shows you what you have like um your pictures it has a little well, like file system that's pretty like a mac and then that's on my bin boot cd rom dev etc home media menu blah 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 scripts sys and bar and all, all of that bunch of stuff so and what it doesn't have these little page it's in, like on windows it's on the bottom but like it this is something like a taskbar I'm not sure if exactly like a test bar. Yeah, you can't put it up there. So, but it's something like a test bar. And I like these little blue boxes. So it aligns your icons actually just like it. Okay. 
the other feature that I like. You can create a launcher, you can create a URL link, which I don't think any other computer has that except like Ubuntu or something. You make an empty file, you can uh, open a terminal here, open terminal as root, with folder as root, create sim link, find this in folder. There's, there's pretty much a lot of stuff you can do. And there's applications, you can see your applications. And then it's like, um, I showed you GIMP, Internet, Firefox, Multimedia, um, G Music, um, Dollar, X, F Burn, and all of those auditing stuff, forensic analysis, wireless analysis. Anyways, I'll go with just my software update if it was that. Okay, anyways, another thing that I actually like about this operating system. Well, this right here, yeah, I kind of love. And, like, right here, you can go to your settings, lock the screen, and you can go to your recently used. And went to my Mozilla Firefox open right there. And what I like is the office. They have, the, they have a dictionary. I'm not sure if any other OS has that. But, yeah, they have a dictionary. Other stuff has, like, calculators and leave their office. And all of that other stuff. So, services... It's Bluetooth, um, Log Keys, Network Manager, Polipo, um, that, 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 and Multimedia is what I just showed you, which, VLC Media Player, I actually, it comes with that too. That's actually something that I tried to get on my Windows, but took up, you know, more space. So, uh, so, yeah. So, that's pretty cool right there. It comes with VLC. And then Anonymous, and then a Start, Status, and Stop. And now, a and, um, little power thing right there. You can log out, lock the screen, or just all settings. All settings. Well, um, about me, File Manager, Menu Editor, Password and Keys. And that's basically like your computer settings. Devices, printers, um, blah blah blah, network connection, removable drives and media, additional drivers, and you can make partitions here, I believe. Yes, and you can make, it actually just gives you, a, it, you it actually gives you this, but you ha would have to download it on Windows or something, but it gives you a startup disk creator. So if you have like a disk image ESO file or the um, DIR file, DIR, I mean, <coughs> DIR file, it will actually, it will let you do this without downloading anything. So you, you won't have to download anything. Settings, editor, input, panel, theme, configuration, workspaces, desktop, appearance, like appearance, what it means by like, um, like, um, what it means by this, it means like the, the little, um, uh, what it means is like up, up here, as you see, it changes every time I click on one of these. Oh, uh, like, guess it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's what I thought. It changes into whatever style you want. So, like, this is pretty old. At a waiter, yeah, that, that's different. But mine was on Graybird, and I kind of like Graybird. So, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it on that. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Black Box Linux is basically just another Ubuntu, but it has, you know, upgraded stuff. But I will be reviewing more of Linux, more Windows. What I'm trying to do is for one whole, like, let's say 10 videos, I'm going to try to, to um, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to just review um, Linux right now. So I'm just going to try to um, review Linux for like the t first 10 to 15 videos. If you guys don't like that idea, please put it in the comments below. I'll put the link to this ESO in the description and virtual box. And the extension pack if you guys need that. So I hope you guys like the video I'm shooting for, let's say, 300, 400 likes. Yeah, you think that sounds about right? Yeah, I'm just shooting for about 300, 400, like something like that, 500 likes. Something like that, see if that's good. Yeah, so like, oh, um, this link editor, I'm sorry, I'm just playing around with this. Comment, uh, URL, oh, let me see. Google, oops, dot com. 
Google.com. The icon is just a star. You can change the icon if you want, if you click on the icon. But anyway, then you could just click. Yeah, you can select an icon. That um, it, it just it just gives you a bunch of icons. But let's just say I click Windows Close. Just click OK. Then I click Create. It will go right here, Google. And if I click on it, where's the number? Launch anyway. Oh well, uh, whatever. Well, you guys can figure that out. I so. Because if you're watching this video, you probably know what everything here means. So, anyways, so I hope you guys like this video. So I will be out. So see you guys. Bye.